All right. So what you got was a carnaddy combo. Carnaddy combo is gonna come with two oh pounds of crawfish, God. a half a pound of shrimp, and there's your sausage with two potatoes, corn, and a dip. Also oh, for dipping. And I have the most ridiculous touristy type question. Never. Can you show me how to eat a crawfish? Absolutely. Ah, now we're not gonna it. take one of yours. I don't mind. There's nah. lots of things. This nah. is enough for an army. That's okay. That's right. All right. So, what we're gonna do? Just take your crawfish. All right. Hold the head. Hold the tail. Turn it so it comes apart. Then you're gonna squeeze, pinch right here to make it to break it. Yep. And then all you do is peel, and then pinch the bottom of the tail, and then pull out. Okay. And people ask me about, are you a head sucker? I am. You just suck. Mm -hmm. So there's meat in there? No, it's just juice. Juice, all right. Season and spice. Yeah. Um, wanna eat it? Why not? I'm here. That's right. Wow, it's delicious. Yep. That's easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Cry daddies, where are we? We are in Thibodeau, Louisiana. Incredible. I'm gonna go sit in my car and have some fun with my new crawfish. Great. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. It's a rainy morning here in Louisiana, um, just on the outskirts of the bayou. So if you guys enjoy my content, you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow me as I visit every single country in the world. And I promise you, we're gonna have one hell of an adventure. Oh my God. Forgive me, I'm not religious, but in times like this, you know how heavy. I'm gonna be eating this for the next three days. Wow, I gotta snap a picture. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Chris must list. Take a quick picture, post it up. <laughs> hey buddy, what's your name? <laughs> I'm about to eat you. Let me start simple. Let me start with this. Simple sausage. Oh shit. Wow, man. It's Cajun food. I love seafood, so this is amongst the best of the best. Okay, let's put that there. It looked fairly easy with the tutorial. Now where's that head? Where'd I put the head? I don't know, the next, oh, there we go. So let me suck. A little bit of juice. But man, it tastes really good. Okay, turn to the side. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, I'm a, I'm a head sucker. So the game plan today is to meet up with Keith, the YouTuber, the Bayou boy. We're gonna do some frogging, catch some bullfrogs. Right there, sticking out yeah. the water. Watch, just watch your hands, okay? Oh, watch your hands, watch your hands. Oh, he got him. If we are successful, we're gonna barbecue those bullfrogs and eat them for dinner. And he told me that if we happen to see other things like snakes or alligators, short form is gator, uh, in the bayou, in the swamp, we can definitely catch it. Watch well, right above him, right behind the head. Just gotta squeeze it. Oh, oh no, he did. An alligator uh, At my own risk. So, you know I've been waiting for an opportunity like that. You, you, can't, you can't double dare me and think I will not. If there's a gator, I'm getting him. No doubt. Here we go. Delicious. So good. I know you guys enjoy watching me eat the food from around the world. I enjoy sharing it, but right now I'm going to turn off this camera so I can enjoy the remainder of my meal. And that's when this video will officially be started so stick around you don't want to miss today's adventure i promise you that breakfast slash lunch was incredible two 
<laughs> the thumbs up. I am on my way, only about 14 minutes away from our meeting point. Really, really excited about today. It's been on my mind all week. As I film, uh, some of my videos are pre-planned, like I've already uh, established a contact, whereas others are freestyle, and I'm just gonna go to a location and hope to find people to uh, either show me around or talk about the location I'm at. So it's a straight drive from here, and we'll be there shortly. Okay, you might have to sit on the back ice chest. Watch, open it up. Look, it opened up with a back rest. You face the front seat where you go, man. Oh, there we go, look at that. You sure you give me the best seat? Am I deserving of it? I gotta catch a few frogs first. Oh, we're gonna put you on some frogs. Well, Terry, he's up to Terry. So you can eat if you get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the start of a new adventure. I'm here in Louisiana, the Bayou. I'm excited. Ah, what a beautiful day. And you guys get to do this all the time. That's what we do. Man. What we live for. Maybe you can introduce yourself now before it gets too loud. Huh? I'm Keith. I got a YouTube channel. That Louisiana Life. Y'all want to check out some more of this kind of stuff? This is what I do day in and day out. Come out. Catch frogs, fishing, crabbing, and just enjoy it out. Man, food. enjoy life. That's what we do. Life to the fullest. Yeah, introduce yourself. I'm Terry, Keith's brother in law. Uh, I'm just the captain on this trip. Yeah. They're going to tell me what to do. Man, if you can't see how happy I am, I'm, I'm excited to be out here. That's so fun. See, how big, how big do they get? Oh, over here, 12, 13. Ah, oh, that's small, I got that, I got it! You said there's an alligator, there's an alligator over there. You on bank? I'm gonna pull it off after we unload. I'm gonna put it on the duct tape and off. How you got on bank right there? I don't know, I'm gonna pull it off after. Somebody pulled my screen off my window. Oh, you think somebody was up here? Uh, I don't know. We're about to find out when I open the door. It might not open. I passed by over here. Uh, it wasn't right there on the bank when I came here the other day. Doors open. You good, huh? Yeah. Maybe okay. somebody came to stay tonight. Bank, bang, we got a Roku, uh, we got TV and all here, man. You gotta use a hotspot on your phone. I love it. I wanna build one. Oh, this one's 10 years old now. Did you build it 10 years ago? Uh-huh. What, what's underneath, a barge or a pontoon? No, styrofoam uh, block. That's it? Look, I got a big bathroom, shower, on-demand hot water heater, but I ain't got water and I have this stuff. Yeah. Look. Wow. Styrofoam, that's it. Yes, sir. I got some more to redo it. it it's not mobile. You don't you don't move it around. You just plan oh, no, it. No, I move it. I oh, yeah? put my boat behind it. We go to the sandbar now. Okay, okay. Boat races. Uh, that's what I want to do. I'm a, so I got some more styrofoam blocks. I'm going to add 26 foot on the back. And I had a big bedroom where I get the beds out of here. This is just going to be the cook and hang out. Yeah. And then you can go sleep in there. It gets too crowded in here. What about these bees? Nothing dangerous. Oh, that's just wood bees tearing up your shit. They look a lot bigger than the ones in my part of the world. This is what you do to these suckers. We get a... Uh... 
Huh? Well, what do you do? You, you upset them. No, so I... they come for the Canadian tourists. No, man, they don't bite. Watch, <laughs> I'm going to catch you one. You got, they got a yellow spot on their head, watch. You see some of the little yellow dot. Man, if you, if you catch one like that with your hands, I'm impressed. Uh-huh. Oh, I thought you were going to do just a two-finger like the... Miyagi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the crying kid. Okay. Get hello. Let me get low. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, can't believe this is what's holding this big house up. Ready? Yeah. Ready? You good? Some egg coming out? Yeah. Oh, it's over here. How old is this? Oh, I think that's some years. Ten years? Wow. Man, that's some real weight. Who would have thought? I was in uh, Louisiana for the first time about six months ago. And I ate some, uh, oh, this. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Where you phone? Dude, your camera's good? Yeah. I hope my phone is good. Yeah. Look, I was able to keep it. Shit. And I have a, a change of clothes, so I'm good. Add to the memory. <laughs> good yeah, hey, look. That's why I got that walkway over there. Keep through that temporary. <laughs> you didn't oh. hit your ribs or nothing? No, 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 no. I'm good. This is my only concern. But look, I kept it above. You sure you did? Yeah. <laughs> Might as well swim. Look, it's still working. Might as well swim with the... What is it, alligators or crocodiles? Alligators. Alligators. You missed it. I should have had the camera recording. <laughs> look, my first... I was going with him <laughs> for a second. <laughs> my first slip up. All right. It's all part of the fun. <laughs> Nothing broke except the wood. <laughs> He's like, I'm not coming back out of here. Nah, you're crazy. This is all part of the fun. Hey, go look, uh, get a towel in there, draw your camera now, man. Yeah. So I got them paper towels in my bag. I was able so to hold the camera so above the water. That's usually why I have that walkway going to the bank, but <laughs> somehow all this got messed up. This walkway is usually on the end going to the bank. So, we've been waiting for the sun to go down. Uh, I feel a little bit better. I cleaned myself in the water. I made a complete mess uh, of myself. But that being said, uh, tell me, what, what is the reason for nighttime? What, do you call it frogging? Frogging. Frogging. I like a, that. A frog. A lot of people say frog hunting. But uh, So we go out at night and we use uh, high-powered Q-beams lights. And the eyes from the frogs reflect off the light. So you can find them really easy at night. Okay. So you're going to get a taste of it in a little while. Yeah, I'm excited. They're going to be some big frogs. Too. But out of the two of you, who would you say is better at frog hunting? I'm going to give it to you. Yeah? I'm just driver now. I'm getting old. I think he's kidding. Man, he showed me a few minutes ago. He wanted to rub it in. He's like, look, I went out a couple days ago. I caught 62 frogs. No, it's uh, 162. 162. 162. See that? 162 frogs. Holy shit. But look at this. What, what a picturesque. See, you, these guys live here. I don't live here, so I get to really enjoy it. Um, because I think when you have something, sometimes you take it, I don't want to say take it for granted, but you've seen this site so many times, and for me it's all brand new, so I'm really, really excited. We can do this every day and not come to it every day. Yeah, yeah. And these, you said, are wood bees. Yes, sir. And they no harm. No, you can catch them uh, yellow head, not the black head. Okay. The black head will bite. Okay. It's I mean, dark, it I can't spray, tell. See, they eat the wood, see the holes in the wood? Yeah. Oh, wood. They call it corporate. Yeah, and, and you guys got to tell me, I'm trying to diversify my portfolio and create new content. I really want to build something like this in Toronto. I'm not just saying this. I think that's how I found your channel. Yeah. Because I was looking for anything that had a houseboat. It's home away from home. Man, and I can't believe they just built it with the styrofoam. I thought I had to go look for a barge. Ten years. Ten years. I have, I have one not far from here, and, uh, but I bought it built already. It, I let somebody do all the work. And how is it being held up? Mine has actually engineered floats. It's probably yeah, you got them black floats. Yeah, the ones you see over okay. there. Okay. But I mean, that even that is still very simple. It's not a barge. There's no right. boat underneath. No. 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 Float. A float. But it is. Like, it's a different feeling when you're out of the houseboat, man. I, I wish I could stay out there full time. And maybe one day I will. Yeah. I'm hoping it gets to that point. But Man, you guys got to tell me if, if you guys would be interested in watching me uh, in Toronto build one of these houses. Um, so again, I'm not just shooting in Afghanistan and Iraq. I'm shooting at home in Toronto. Uh, 
so right even now, with my we, wife and kids. So right now we in the uh, Chafalaya Spillway. Okay. So this is where a lot of the uh, Louisiana crawfish come from. How far are we from New Orleans? How do you say how do you say proper? New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, we, I don't know. It say, like say it again. New Orleans. Because I know like when I was here a couple months ago, they were making fun of me. One more time. New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> we're gonna catch the frog. We're gonna eat the frog. We're gonna fry them tonight. Fry the frogs. You like frogs? Hell yeah. What's the favorite thing for you to eat in this body of water right here? We can't crawfish. say. We can't say on video. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, mine's crawfish. You crawfish? I love crawfish. Wow, there's so little meat. Ah, How many crawfish really would you eat really in one good. one I love sitting? Feeling crawfish. And, and are you a head sucker? What do they call it? I don't suck the heads. I actually, I I know, I know that sounds bad, but I actually dig the fat out of the head and eat it. Yeah. And so. you, you suck in the heads? No. 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 <laughs> this I is the guy who's joking with me. I squeeze the tail. <laughs> okay. Okay. But crawfish is my favorite by far, and then probably after that is frogs. So there are alligators here. As well, you'll see them tonight. There, is there a, a hunting season for alligators or no? There is trapping season. Yeah. You get tagged certain time of the year. Yeah. You have to be a landowner, or you have to have a lease, and the landowner gives you the tag. We're gonna okay. catch you one tonight. A Alligator. Small one. We'll catch you a small one. Yeah, I'm. Hey, everybody thinks I'm told them I'm a wrestler. I'm ready to jump in. If you see one, can I just jump on the back? You, you already jumped you in a while ago. Yeah. No, I fell in. That <laughs> that's different. It's when it's gonna change. get dark in a little while. Yeah. The swamp comes alive at night. I like this. You're going to see gators. You're going to see coons. You're going to see frogs. You're going to see snakes. You're going to hear stuff that... You're going to hear owls. Man, you guys got me excited. You're going to hear <laughs> owls. You, I am not joking. This has been the video that I've been waiting. Uh, excited. Excitedly. Excitedly? No. I'm excited. I've been waiting. Uh, Spell it for me. No more migrants. <laughs> Spell it for me. I'm here. In Louisiana. I do this all the time, and I still get excited. Yeah, we're hunting for frogs. Yesterday I said I'm hunting for my, my uh, Yesterday I said I'm hunting for migrants, and people really tore me up. So you can't hunt a human. But I didn't. I didn't think about it that way. How would you feel if I said I'm hunting for migrants? Does it sound like I'm sh going to shoot them? No, you were just looking for them. Yeah, I'm looking for them. You're looking for them. See where they at. Yeah, like dog. What is his name? Dog the bounty hunter. Is it dog? Yeah. He don't. Dog the bounty hunter. He's not hunting people with a gun. He's hunting. He's looking he's for. He's out to catch him. Yeah, he's out to catch him. We're going they got a bounty on We're gonna on look it. for him. We're gonna catch him. Yeah. And we're gonna eat him. I'm ready. Let's go. Where do I start? Hey, give some off. You grabbed it. Do <laughs> you have some? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll use it. I'm the only. Uh, no, they I call it city slicker. Look, we're in shorts. <laughs> They're all prepared. Long sleeve and. Uh, all right, we still gotta get hey, pants. Things get so thick right at dark. Yeah. Now, an uh, hour after dark. Yeah, you good. You good. They won't be out. Okay. Strange. But right at dark. Cause yeah, look, they're, there we go. They're worse than you want me to hit? You want me to Yeah, you? please. If you don't mind. They're worse than any vampire. Around. Yeah. Danger. Thank you. Okay. In Toronto, they're out 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No. I didn't see one until dark. I got dark. And like yeah. I say, in an hour, you won't see one. Yeah. yeah it's too dark. We feed them right before dark. Yeah. They get full and then they oh. take off. Oh, no, that's the ass thing, huh? Wait, where you must have thought of that? Mosquitoes. You're a frog on the way out? I don't know. We'll catch something here. We'll take a pipe down, or we can go out and wait the other
Yeah. They're all over now. You see, they are reflect and they glare and go through them. They got one behind us here. They glare. What do you eat? The whole body? On, on the big ones, yes. Okay. But uh, a lot of times, uh, we go for the back legs. But we're gonna get some bigger ones than this. Yeah, for sure. Here. Point, where am I looking? Where am I looking? It's in front of that tree right there. Point, point? Look, right there. Sticking out yeah. the water. Watch, just watch your hands, okay? Oh, watch your hands, watch your hands. Oh! He got him! I got him. I got him a little bit. Ah, my first first try, first catch. That was awesome, I'm man. A frogger. You kiss a frog? You can. Ah! Don't let him go though. All I know. First time. First time. Not first time. As a child, I would do this. Hey, he kissed it and it's not Prince Charming. That's all nah, I know. Wasn't the right. Awesome. Yeah. I just push it down. Slide him in. Good job, man. Ooh. All right. Not Prince Charming. A big, a big one for your first one. I like that. I, I can get used to this. Take my light off of it so you can see them. Oh yeah, that's a good one. You want them, Chris? Yeah, why not? Why not try it again? All right. Where is it though? He's right here, coming up. Just his head sticking up right here, right in front of him. Look. Oh, look, he's swimming. He's swimming. Oh, he came back up. I got him. <laughs> Perfect. I'm yeah. not kissing him now yet. Yeah. <laughs> I was standing up. I couldn't see him no more. Yeah, I saw it when it went under. That's a sin. personal thank you for bringing me to the bayou yeah now i'm officially a bayou boy when you're catching <laughs> alligators like this you're what? You sound like the bottom of the i gotta do the bayou <laughs> look that's awesome how yeah. was that first time out enjoyable and now i'll let him go it's really like a rush huh ah oh, my heart's racing real nice yeah, yeah goodbye man Let's go bigger. I want bigger, <laughs> bigger, <laughs> bigger. I know. I'm told you I'm gonna jump in and grab him. Oh, okay. Hey, I don't know when we'll get that one on video. <laughs> Man. Uh, how many you think they got right there? They probably have about 50. 50 gators? Maybe. They all looking at this. They all in the little trees, though. Yeah. yeah, but they got a... Uh... Oh, yeah, they got, they got a couple of them in front of it. Watch, slow it down, Terry. Oh, I see the little heads, yeah. Yeah, no, they're all over back there. Oh, they're, they're quite big. Oh, that's a baby one. And that one over there looks a little bit bigger. Does it bite at this size? Yeah, they'll yeah, nibble on you. Can I play with them a little bit? Yeah, you grab behind his neck. Make sure you grab behind his neck so it don't get yeah, like that. 
baby alligator. If it stayed this size, I want I want to keep them. <laughs> yeah, they get quite big. They got, they all, there. See, that one's a lot bigger. Look at this one. They got yeah, you caught the run. You caught the baby. The mama's going to be close by. She stays by her litter. Put them back? Yeah. Yeah, that one's real small compared to the rest. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. They, they just had not long ago. Show me one more time. Just watch your hands on the tree. Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. Good job. Nice. Ah, I'm not getting away. Not getting away from me, buddy. Number two. For good luck. So we have two, four, or five. And bringing yeah. back my childhood memories. But we just used to let them go. We didn't eat them. Redemption. Let me give a prep talk. I lost two or three of them in a row. My my energy was down, my emotions were down, but I'm with the two uh, best froggers in this side of the marsh. So that's Man, what we do. That's a good redemption frog. Look at the size of that sucker. Talk to me, sing to me. Give me a little. <laughs> and he was going away when he caught him. He was sinking. Yeah. Okay. We got plenty for a great meal tonight. Wow. Isn't it incredible when you can like go for your own food? That's amazing. Right. No? Come to the camp with nothing to eat. You don't you don't rely on grocery stores and uh, and and we're gonna eat better than eating in did, the restaurant. And, and look, I'm not gonna lie, I did bring a little bit. I got I did bring some rice and some white beans to go with it, and a yeah. few fish that we caught a while back. So. Oh shit. Ah, 
You should see me when I play basketball. I'm the loudest guy there. When I miss a shot, I make sure everybody could hear me. Wow, that's horrible. Really, really bad. That was a tough one. You had to. Man. The camera and the, uh, going for it. Man. The child me is disappointed in the adult me. Make sure they got a little water, I guess. They got a little bit. You want them, Chris? Yeah. Right there. Here. Oh! See, my patience has to kick in. Look how close he is. I want to just grab him. Ah! He got him swimming too. <laughs> nice. Okay. That is it. Hey, buddy. Sorry, I had to do you like that. I got some salad to go with it. We good. There you go. A deep dive, deep dive. Yeah, I tell you what, to have a good time, you ain't gotta have a big monstrosity for a houseboat though. Yeah. I have uh, We slept 12 feet on this thing already. Yeah, I think that size is perfect. What, what percentage of the frog is eatable, edible? Well, you can eat a, a good bit of these. But I mean, they that's got a lot of They got a lot of meat on the backs on them. And uh, so we're gonna clean a few of them, the whole frog. Smaller ones like this, which is not really a small frog, but we're gonna just do the back legs on those. There's some weight to that. Feel that. How much <laughs> no. do you think that weighs? <laughs> that's heavy. Hey, I'm gonna tell you this, the other night when I had them 160 or whatever, I couldn't hardly take the cage out of the boat by myself. Yeah, it's heavy. Sure. They're very thick. You figure all them big ones, I had a hundred something, so I mean, I know I had over a hundred pounds of frog in the cage. I hurt your fingers when I'm you grabbed I'm sure that's that big one you caught. Look at that stuff. Oh, that one that you, uh, you turned the camera off. <laughs> I did. That's a big There's one. no evidence I caught that one. Ah, yeah, it is lots of hard. Yeah. That's a huge frog, man. Huh? Yeah. Does he make noise when you itch his head? <laughs> So you eat the, the on a frog this size? Yeah, you can eat the whole all the back. Yeah. Are some there many bones? Got, they got some bones, but it's, the meat comes off pretty, pretty easy. It's not like pin bones or something like that, and like a fish or nothing. Okay. You'll see. And what about the legs? People say it lot, tastes like uh, chicken. If you never ate a frog, I guess that's the closest thing you can compare it to. I guess. Uh, right. I find it it has a different texture and its own taste, but similar. Hey, I you guess. want me to bring my big table out here? Clean. Them. I brought all my stuff to clean it too. You uh, huh? I got everything right here. I got a, I got a pair of uh, poultry scissors. Go on real quick, the smaller one. So like you just grab him. Try to be real gentle. I know this part might be very sensitive for those watching. The frog is instantly killed with a hit on the head. I will not show that part out of respect for my viewer, but know that these frogs are well gone and dead before the skin is removed. You might see some twitching, but those are only the nerves. The frog is dead. You bought pliers, Keith? Oh, I got some captive pliers. What is the goal here? What are you doing? Skin them. Taking the skin. See, when I clean them, I don't eat the whole frog. So this is what I do right here. And then I cut the back legs off. And These like, are just the nerves kicking. Yeah. In like two seconds, usually if, if you don't keep the whole frog, I just fold it right there and keep the back legs. The rest is just returned to the water? Yes, sir. Everything has to eat, so you feed the catfish. Yeah. That wasn't as gruesome. As We're I not thought done it was. yet. You gotta cut the feet off and. Uh, yeah, but I mean it's dead now. So. Now, in your videos, your YouTube, do you show this part, part of the process? Me? Yeah. No, I don't. Either. I usually uh like I do a before and after. <laughs> yeah. 
I know a lot of people are not a big fan of. Uh, and you see, like whatever. I say, I'm a, uh, I'm really just a lay guy. I don't, bro. Look, who's made this? You gonna chew on that? No, no. Huh? I'm following your lead. So look, when I clean them, look. Look how I pulled the skin off the back. There's a little joint right there you get in, a little groove. And your knife just cuts straight through it. So I usually cut the back legs with people eat. And I throw this away. It's just guts. Watch, I'm just... That's how they work. For nothing. And, and some of the old people, they rather eat the back than the legs. I guess they massage their gums, I don't know. Oh, look at this. He's uh, fancy. Yeah, no. Edward look. Scissorhands. I do look. want to know different. But, uh, there you go. That's just the way I do them. I don't know. Everybody does I go for different. speed. I just grab with my pliers when I got a good set like he got right here. See, that's why I usually don't go through all the trouble with the whole body. Why? Oh, it's just so much faster like this. Like when you freeze them, you keep the bodies. I'm curious how many you have in your freezer if you're catching 160 oh. at a time. We eat a lot. How often would you say you eat uh, frog? It's seasonal. Yeah, I, I eat them, uh, I would say twice a month at least. Oh, that's not that often. Yeah, but we got fish, crawfish, and all that other stuff. And the fish that you're eating is all caught? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we ain't buying that. I've never bought fish. How you do yours, Terry? I'm, I want to make sure I'm, I do mine in eggs and milk. We all do all this stuff different over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty thick. I don't know if we're going to fry all that tonight. No, it's way too much. I feel like I got some fish to go with it. We gotta eat some of that fish. That fish is way too much. You guys gotta let me know in the comment section, have you ever eaten frog? This is my very first time. And I'm excited. Part of the process of catching the frog and getting wet and then eating it. More, more enjoyable to me. But this will be my first frog. Tell me guys in the comments, Hopefully. who has eaten a frog and who has liked the frog? Hopefully we don't let you down on the cooking. Yeah. We're gonna, no, I've been, that. I've had such a great time. I think it's impossible to let me down. Right. If they're as good at cooking it as they are catching it, we're gonna have one hell of a meal. It's gonna be good. In my belly. I'm tired of eating this fast food while I'm driving. In the back, I got a whole sack of rags hanging. I forgot about that, that big white sack, that's a rag sack. So they can take on that little... The rough? Yeah, when I, uh... I had some old drawers you gave me that I'm right with down. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I just took them off. That's how I take them <laughs> off in the back. I just took some drawers, some dirty drawers in <laughs> between the frogs. Get them. I said a lot of people like to do different things, you know. I say this is how we unwind down here. You want a little peace and quiet, and you just uh, you grab the family and come on with it. Live off the land for the weekend. Don't bring much, bare necessities. I will tell you this: the kids love being out here. Yeah, they love it. If I ever hit the power boat, they won't see me on land much. <laughs> this is where I'll be. But you know how I know I ain't gonna hit it. You don't play. I always say that if I hit the power bar, I think I bought four tickets my whole life. I'm the, exactly the same. I'm not a, I don't play either. Yeah. I don't gamble. No. I, I don't have nothing against it. I mean, I used to play cards and bet and... Let's think about it like this. Can you, how much happier can you be, really, honestly? I mean, we were happy. So I'm saying we want our own power bar. Yeah. Oh, most <laughs> of them, uh, But they pay, they rent a little spot right there. And, uh, so they have power all the time. They don't have to bring a generator. But when I can't piss off my porch, to me, that's not camping. Yeah. You just don't stay home. There are 50, literally probably 50 houseboats tied up, and they'll all be at their camp, and that's not camping to me. Yeah, I'm with you.
You know what I'm saying? I want to go do my own thing. If I want to bathe in my boat naked out here during the daytime, whatever, yeah. that's what we do. Yeah, it's very quiet. Over there, you got to watch it. You want to go do something outside, and you look, oh, man, they're on yeah. that <laughs> like, Now is not the right naked, timing. You know, like. So talk to us, chef. Uh, you have some... I'm not a chef, but... Uh, 100 years of flavor, Louisiana, pure crystal hot sauce, and you got mustard. Yeah, that's it for the fish, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna put that in a cornmeal after, get it right. And then I'm gonna do the, uh, put some frogs in here. This is just milk and eggs right here. Simple. Simple. E even I, it's just a whole, even I can remember that. Yeah, now. and it's just to hold the batter on whenever we batter them up. Get so, much so right now, what is this? Just milk, or you put eggs? Yeah, in? I put eggs in okay. it. Yeah. How many eggs? I just put two. Man, that's not many. Yeah. What do you think? Think we got enough in there? Now, for you loyal subscribers that watch me eat rats, not too long ago uh, in South Sudan, this definitely looks a lot more appetizing. A lot more meat on the bone as well. The rats that we ate were so small, like you really had to like try to dig behind the left armpit and and squeeze out a little bit of the the meat I mean maybe that's a that's, that's some meat right there that is I'm telling that's, you it's, it's very pretty meat too man I just didn't realize that that much meat <laughs> big bullfrog yeah I went clean out the toilet earlier that's why I went to Somali I guess whenever they stopped by they had piss or something in there didn't fly. I kept smelling something I'm like man what is that oh you had a guest uh, somebody come <laughs> yeah some point in time all right, all right. Now, do you let it relax for a little bit? No, it goes right into... No, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and batter it as soon as I get the batter ready. Okay. I had the can put all over the place, so we're gonna make it work. Great, <laughs> uh, I usually got a little container, I shake them up in, but successful in my... I'm using what I got at Terry's camp right now. And it's gonna, it's gonna, work. Like said, it's usually, gonna work. We usually set up a little more. I just need Terry to hook me up with some hot grease and we're gonna have some amazing frog legs that Chris participated in. Ah, huh? ah that was mine. I remember yeah, this one right one. there. <laughs> that big <laughs> sucker right there. Look at that. Go! Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> some videos for me to create are more memorable, more personal. This brings me back to my childhood. And my, my grandfather's cottage in Finland Falls used to beg my parents every long weekend to get, get down to grandpa's cottage. But we used to play with the frogs and, and let them back. Here in the bayou, you play with them, then you eat them. <laughs> you know, I, I do let a lot of stuff go. But, uh, yeah, I let a few go today too. Yeah, not on purpose. <laughs> not on purpose, no. That wind gonna mess us up. And it ain't really blowing, now we got something. We catch a lot of uh, fish, frogs, whatever. We shoot nutrients, eat them. If anybody don't know what a nutrient is, it looks like a massive rat. They get about between 11 and 15 pounds or so. Tastes good? They must taste good if you're eating them, right? They're really good. They're vegetarian. They only eat vegetation, so. Okay. Most people don't want to eat them because they look like a rat. Yeah. But uh, they're actually very good. Ignore the look, go for the taste. Yeah. And you have deer? Yes. What else? Yeah, plenty of deer. A few hogs out here, but uh, lots of rabbits, lots of squirrels. But you eat the squirrel? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? We're like huge fans of squirrels. They do it different around here. Another rodent I've never eaten. Squirrel? Yeah. What about raccoon? I have eaten raccoon before, but honestly, it's not my favorite. But you, you eat them here? A lot of people eat them. Yeah. But uh, I, Is there I anything not, that you won't eat? Nah, not really. Skunk? They have a few, but I, I've never eaten skunk. But I'd probably try it. Yeah? Why not? I'd Once you get past the, the smelly glands. I've pretty much tried everything around here. You ever okay. eat a skunk? A what? A skunk? <laughs> no. A raccoon? No. Okay. He eat more wild shit than me. I do. I eat. I Look, he tried some shit I ain't never tried. Yeah. I, I never ate a neutral. Never in my life. Never? 
Never. <laughs> you see, you no. say, oh no. shit. <laughs> Never in my life. Why? 40K, no. Dude, me and your sister. I know. We, That's what I we, say. Yo, we, 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 okay, is there there's a reason? No, no, it's a vegetarian, it's just a rat. That's what he looked. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, what's wrong with these frogs and fish? Yeah. Why do I want to eat a rat? Man, I ate a guinea pig. I ate a guinea pig in Peru, and the way they stretched them out and cooked them, teeth, eyes were still looking at me, just barbecued, stretched out. And you it took it? a lot for me to eat him because he still looked, he still the looked the same. But I did it because in Peru they farm them, they grow they, them guinea pigs. To eat? Yes, yeah, like the number one. Yeah. I don't know if it's due to the high altitude. Hey, don't worry about regulator, huh? The regulator. Oh, okay. they'll, they'll flow it up and get them golden brown. Won't take long. We'll let that little batch go. You don't want to put too many of them in there, get your uh, grease temperature too low. So you want to go inside, cook? I don't know what you got going on right there. I got it going on. I'm working with what you got. No, I got a <laughs> stove inside. <laughs> if you want to do the beans and the rice on the stove, we good. Oh, I got the rice in the right pot. Okay. That's cooking already. I'm trying to get it cold in here, boss. Looks like you know what you're doing. Well, no burn, golden brown. Uh, I smells hope it's good, looks good. You're going to be the judge, right? Yeah. You get an honest taste test? I saw you got some hot sauce sneaking around here, so it's good. Hey, you was, you was, you was, you was paying attention to that batter and all, huh? I like, I like myself some hot sauce. All right. You checked out how you battered that? Little egg and milk uh, batter? Yeah. Not only did I check it out, I, I recorded it so the world, oh. the world can see. Oh, I'm sure a lot That's of people how do it. y'all fry stuff at the house? Y'all do a, a, a milk and egg batter it's and not, It's not y'all. I don't. Man, I can't even tell you the last time I turned on the stove. My wife, she won't let me near the kitchen. No? No. She said, you stay away. I do a lot Whenever I tell my audience that, they get at me. They're like, Chris, you're a man. You should know how to cook. But I just don't know how to cook. I do a lot of the outside cooking. And I'm sure yeah. Terry's the same way. Yeah. Terry does a lot of inside cooking. Man, my first one, I want to pick them. Look at this. This is a muscular looking. Ooh, this is still quite hot. Cheers. My first frog leg. See how you do it. Mm -hmm. It's fishy to me. Doesn't resemble chicken at all. No. I think the batter makes it a little bit more chicken esque, but it's very light. It's good. like if a fish had a leg this is what it would taste like but there's big chunks of meat mm. boats I got some boats we might have to move this party inside finish cooking what do you think tastes good it's, it's got a clean taste to it don't try yeah it. it's very clean light Yeah, it's strange that it's been compared to chicken to me. I don't taste chicken at all. I think what it is, it's hard to compare it, and that's the closest thing we can It come looks up. like a chicken. <laughs> like, oh, hey! Jump in. Come see, it's almost heartbreaking. Come see. Hey, look at that pretty flame. Yeah, it's very nice. Yes, everyone. See, normally I hide my bags under my eyes when I'm tired with my big nerdy glasses, but it doesn't make sense for me to be wearing glasses while we're eating. Uh, but it looks delicious. Incredible. Almost looks like we uh, went to a kitchen, a proper kitchen, and bought it. But you're in the kitchen. Look, you're in nah, the kitchen. Nah, but I mean like a catering kitchen you're in with the kitchen, some. the kitchen, the bedroom, yeah. and the living room. All at the same time. All at the same time. That's amazing. And the food is great. I got some memories today that I've never experienced catching an alligator. I've caught crocodiles, but little ones. That was the biggest uh, reptile I've ever caught in my life. Caught that little um, turtle, what'd you call it? Stink it, pod. We call it a stink pod. Stink pod. Caught one of those. Caught lots of frogs. Eating the frogs. 
new friends. What a spectacular jump in. Don't let me hold you. Uh, what a spectacular day, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're talking about YouTube off camera. Um, support. Maybe you're going to have a YouTube channel by the time this goes up. Uh, links are down below. Uh, do me a favor and, and hit that subscribe. Check them out. I would never recommend uh, or verify, like stamp somebody that, that's not worthy of uh, watching. So let's dig in. Let's tell me what it tastes like. I know it tastes good. And I'm but the audience wants to you know. You had a sample of yeah. why he was cooking. happy yeah. that you came along for the ride with us. Man, it means the world to me. I Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is the best part of the job. No doubt. Um, I gotta have a little tortoise sauce with my frog legs. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> add a little flavor to it. It's just like a steak. You say you ain't supposed to eat sauce with it, but I, I dab it up. Not a chef, but it's good. No, it's very good. Good job. I've been filming all day, every day for now. It's a conclusion to today's video, so I think I got some frog on my lip. If you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, check everybody out down below. Tell a friend, subscribe. Uh, by the time you watch this video today, I would have hit 250,000 subscribers, which is a quarter of a million people. Hit that button, which is an incredible. Uh, I'm gonna celebrate for like two or three minutes then we're going to keep pushing on to a million subscribers later on this year we're going to keep working so that's it guys i appreciate you love you and we'll see you in the next video i don't even know where i'm going next but i'll see you there